What is going on guys? It is Masked Man here, and welcome to One and Done, the show where I give a game one chance to impress me. Or at least that's, that's my excuse to play more video games and stutter at the same time. Today, we're going to look at a new indie game, new-ish indie game called Asteria. Uh, this game is... It's kind of like a Terraria clone, but it's not. Firstly, I'm going to show you the story quick so we can see what the game is about. Asteria, I think that's how you say it. 2017, NASA's terrestrial planet finder mission detects an er Wait, why is it scrolling? When I first did it, it didn't scroll. Maybe it'll stop scrolling, hopefully. So I'm gonna give it a second. There we go, all right. 2017, NASA's terrestrial planet finder mission detects an Earth-like planet orbiting the stars P1, not three, R some planet 26.33 light years away. Spectral analysis of the light years from the planet's atmosphere shows a strong line of oxygen and a sure sign of life. 2039, Asteroid Mining Conglomerate Planetary Resources completes and launches Project Delius. A 191 meter interstellar starship provided by the thing. And launched from Jupiter's atmosphere. 2137, after traveling at 29% of the speed of light, the unmanned starship arrives and lands on the planet, now known as Asteria. And the mothership thaws and successfully incubates 353 embryos. The first interstellar humans are born and raised by machine. 2153, a group of powerful natives attack and over in the Dalius, obliterating it in the nuclear meltdown. You are Riker241, and as far as you know, you're the only surviving human. So that's essentially the story of the game. You've crashed, or well, you're on an alien planet, and you're the last survivor of a group of people. Single player, select the player, mask man. I'm gonna make a new world instead of my old world. So I'm gonna create a world. You can see where this becomes a lot like Terraria in a sense. And you'll see even more so once I start the game. And I'm gonna make the game a uh, one and done in the poo poo. I have no idea. And now it's making things, let there be that. So it's quite a bit like Terraria. But you'll see so in a minute. This is the intro to Terraria. N not Terraria, a story. You see where it's just become things. Um, as you can see, it kind of runs essentially like Terraria a bit. It's, and then when I hit tab, you'll see it's a modified Terraria. It's, I don't know. The only thing I question playing this game are the, uh, how can I say this? The, the legality of taking a game engine and reusing it for your own game. I don't know if the creator got permission to use the Terraria engine. I'd expect that he did so. But then again, I don't know, because I haven't seen any other games that use the Terraria engine, aside from Terraria and Starbound, which Starbound is made by the people who made Terraria. So, it's a questionable thing. It does work a bit differently, in a way, so... Can I put a light down? Yeah, okay. I'm messing around. It seems that... That's not my inventory from last game, is it? It is my last inventory. Oh, that would explain a lot. Okay, so it's a new world, but you don't have to worry about that. This game is kind of like uh, Terraria, but the difference is it's not as mining based as Terraria. It's much more action based. It's much more of a shooter where the goal behind mining is just to reach your next action phase and to make your weapons in a way it's 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 interesting once I get out of the tutorial level because I forgot I should have made a new character to show everything but uh that's not the point so I will do my best to go over what it is essentially when you start the game you're given a low-grade blaster and a low-grade miner the blaster is used to kill enemies and the miner is used to mine out certain items but they can only do certain things with their... Oh, I can set a spawn point here. The blasters can only do certain minerals. Like, the low-grade one can only do dirt and sand and that kind of stuff. Very basic stuff. So that is all that can do. And, as you'll notice, there's a weird cloud coming up when you mine stuff. Apparently, to add the difficulty of mining, when you mine away things, they cause a gas pocket. And that gas pocket will suffocate you when you have a certain oxygen level when you go in there. I don't know if I can right now, but later on I'll show it to you guys when I get in the main world, where you can suffocate unless you get out of the smoke, so mining has to be strategic in a way. 
And I'm just gonna do what I can to get out of here. Move away from, whoa, buddies. Killed one, two, oh, that hurt me. All right, so I can't mind that because I've already gotten it and I'm gonna start a new world now. Is this my old world, even though I picked a new world? No, this is a different world, right? I think this is a different world, but yeah, it's a different world, okay. So this is the main world of Hysteria. You see, it's a zoomed out Terraria, it really is. There's, that can't be hidden from the game. It literally is a zoomed out Terraria. You walk by items, you, they slowly rotate towards you. It, there's no hiding it at all. It's, it is what it is, and I got a bunch of things from that thing. All right, so essentially, okay, now I need to find a way to build it back up. So I'm going to grab my dirt blocks, I'm gonna put them in my inventory, I'm gonna show you one thing I'd like about this game, and that is the building mechanics. You can either have one block, you can have a small square, you can start going with squares, you can have a circle, you can have a larger circle, you can have a big square, and then you can build floors and walls like so. That is something Terraria really needed. So I can put this right here, so I can jump on this, if I can jump, and I can get up here now. And then, we grab out our miner, and we start digging out stuff. And we start finding m minerals like iron and coal and steel and adamantium. It's probably not in the game, but you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna make it as if it's in the game. Now, I'll show you quickly what I meant about the suffocation thing earlier. If I can stop making things go out the pillow of the side. Oop. Let's say I start digging up over here. Digging up on this side. Like so. Yeah, gotta get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Got my head stuck in here. God dang it. So let's say we start pillowing smoke up like this. And you see how it sticks over here. I can jump into it. To where I become engulfed in it. And I am going to start losing help. Yep, air supply. You can get stuck in mines. Get the air supply right there. Somehow I'm not dying from it yet. But I'm gonna get it eventually. There we go. Nope. Okay, really? I'm trying to prove a point, game, and you're pissing me off by not letting me prove that point. There we go, now I'm losing air supply. So after you lose your air supply, I'd assume your health goes down. I haven't lost enough to do it, because goddammit, this game does not want me to prove a point. So, um, yeah, this is this game. I forgot about, it works exactly like Terraria in the fact that you save a character and you keep your character's stuff. Oh, it's really just a modded Terraria, is all this game is. And once again, my biggest question is, what is the legality behind that? Um, and then, since I've got this, I don't have to go mining for stuff, because the one downside I do have is that when it comes to getting things, there are few ores that are uh, few and far between, as in, it is extremely difficult to find them. That being the fact, it took me 47 minutes in the game to find coal. And that is a much needed resource. If I go up here, you know, I'm gonna build my base up here. If I hit tab, go to basic item crafting. To build a workbench, you need iron. Is that what I was doing? Wait, what? Oh no, I need a furnace. The furnace requires coal so you can make iron. And you just need 50 coal. It took me 47 minutes. I timed it with seeing how long I played the game on Steam. It took me 47 minutes from beginning of the game to find coal. That shouldn't be a thing, but I eventually found it, and I was able to make a furnace, and I was able to make all this stuff, and it went well. So, oh god, in my new world, oh, can I get out? No. The point behind this game is not the mining. The only point behind mining is to just get a new weapon. Oh god, that's not what I want to do. I just want my blaster. Give me the blaster. That's hurting me. Thank you. The point is to find the dungeon, and if I remember correctly by reading it, the first level dungeon is going to be always right below your spawn. And so I'm going to test that theory right now. And there it is! It's here. And it comes with a workbench. So that's a thing. So you can make your weapons and all, steel blaster, you can make uh, energy cells if you need to heal, and all that jazz. So I'm going to go in here to the dungeon. See, to make, to upgrade to each tier of mining tools, you have to have 
a certain item that can only be gotten from the beating the boss in each dungeon lair. So, oh, is this different than it was last time? I think it's a little different than my last one. No, it's the same one. Okay. Yep, I've retaken the contents of the chest. God damn it. So, every time, you essentially need to find a dungeon for each lair. I can show you. This is what each dungeon looks like. These are unminable stuff, just to make sure that you follow the path of the game. And that guy's got a blaster, so you want to avoid him. Alright. Oh, that guy almost killed me. No, ow, 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 ow. I killed him. I'm gonna go down here to fight off the really tough enemy, which is... Oh, not him, but... And this isn't even the boss on the left side. I thought it was earlier, but when I fought him, finally I realized... Oh, that's not the boss, because it didn't give me anything useful. Oh, he's not here anymore. Well, that's sad. Oh. Oh, well. Well, I'm gonna go try and fight the boss. Which is probably not gonna go well for me, but I'm going to try. Uh, let me go ahead and take the dirt so I can build my way around. Can I build here? Or... They won't let me build. Shit, well, I gotta go this way to get out then. Alright. So I'm going to go over this way, set a spawn point for if I die... And I need to go up here, right? Yes. Hang on. Hang on, kill you. I'm going to show you guys the boss that I have not beaten, because he is extremely difficult. And saying difficult is putting it lightly. I will show you once I do some platforming over here. Ow. Oop. Oh, I fell. God damn it. And it took fall damage, really? Alright, I need some energy cells so I don't die. So I'm gonna kill this guy. He gave me no energy, of course. God damn it. Alright. Bad, bad guy. I need to go over here. Oh, maybe I can't jump up here? I can. Alright. This stuff, it's gonna hurt you. So be careful when you walk through it. Because it'll hurt a lot. And then I would fucking fall to my demise. Okay. Kill you. Do you have energy on you? Yes. Do I have any energy cells on me? I do. I have it set right there. So I, I think I can right-click in here. Kill myself? Yes. I can. I'm going to do that a few times. I'm going to set my spawn point. And then I'm going to show you the boss. Yeah, get 700 health points. Let's look at how OP this boss is. Homing whistles. Ah! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Re reset. Ow. No. That's really not cool, dude. That hurts me deeply to know that your thing is home at me. Uh, uh, jump. I need energy. I need energy badly. So I'm going to try and get energy while dodging his stuff. Ow, that hurt. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, it. stop, stop, stop. Holy crap. He just launched a lot of guys at me. Maybe that's more energy for me. Huh. All right. Oh, damn it. That hurt. Oh, God. I'm going to die. All right. As you can tell, the boss music is pretty cool when it plays, but when I leave a certain point, it doesn't play anymore. Uh, okay. Hurt this guy. I need to hurt him. He is a very difficult boss, and he's the first boss in the goddamn game. As you can see, it's a very action-y game. It's very based on action, and that hurt me a lot. Okay. You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna just lay all my fire on you. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> and he gained all his health back. That's great. So now I lost everything I worked for. Great. It's very difficult, as you can tell. Very difficult. Damn it. Okay. I can do this. And I'm dead again. Now then. Because it's like Terraria, you don't lose your items, if I remember correctly. Well, you have a life counter on here. I don't know if that's through the whole game or just this boss level, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna see if my character dies. So this is gonna go well. Ow, fuck. That's bad news already. Damn it, and I'm dead. I think I'm gonna find out what happens when you lose lives. Hopefully your character doesn't die, because I spent a lot of time making this character earlier. He's got armor and all that. Usually only have 100 energy, but now he's got 180 energy because I got him armor and built him up stats. All right, no. All right, you just sit there. Really? No, no, and I'm dead again. All right, I can do this. I think I might be have. I might think I might have a tactic to kill him. Oh damn it, that went badly. He's gonna kill me already because of that shit. 
Because his fucking minions got on my ass like white on rice and they got smoke plug in a snowstorm. Stop it. Alright. Uh. No. 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 Avoid. Right click. Right click the heal. Charge it. Shoot it. Charge it. Shoot it. Charge it. Shoot it. Oh god, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. 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 No. No. I need energy. Okay. Maybe the charge shot's the best idea here. Maybe. Just maybe. It just might work. And you jump at him. And you miss your fucking hit. Okay. I might have an idea here to kill him. Wow. You got a lot of guys coming after me. That's not nice. All right. Charge it. Shoot it. I missed. All right. Boom. And attack it. Attack it. Attack it. Attack it. Attack it. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. I've done some damage. No. 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 Come on. I can do this. I can do this. Both of my games recently have been shoot 'em up games. And attack. Oh god, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I need this. Desperately, I need this. All right. Uh, come on, get him. Come on, he's so close. He's so close. No. You die. I got him. Holy shit, I got him. And I got... I think I got it. I got the steel semiconductor. Superconductor, actually. All right, teleport back home. All right, you. Fuck you. Now then. I think... Oh, God, I'm going to have to rebuild everything, aren't I? Actually... No, I don't. Because... I can save, and then I can go to the main menu. Uh, return, oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, save and quit. All right, so it's saving that world, going to the main menu, or I'm gonna exit the game and it's gonna crash. Way to help me show off the game for you. Uh, please tell me that saved my video file without, because that game crashing may have just fucked that up big time. Um, that also crashed my bandy cam. Well, that's, uh, that's gonna be fun to fix and post. So, uh, I'll play some funny music here to, to showcase the fact that the game crashed. Well, it's an indie game. Uh, that's apparent. It's a Terraria mod. Uh, the game doesn't usually crash, so that's a bad thing. Um, <laughs> way to help me show off the game, game. So that was Asteria. I think that's how you say the name. I don't know how to say the name. The developer gave me the game. Gave me a code for it. Gave me two codes for it, so I might do a giveaway for it soon. So, <laughs> crashing the game isn't a good way to show off the game. And crashing Bandicam while breaking the game is not a good way to show that. So, uh, hopefully this video comes out. If not, I'm going to talk to myself for no reason. So I'm getting to here. And I'll see you guys next time. But until then, this has been Mask Man. Logging off.